so dear students we have completed the chapters of the first term and today we begin with the chapters of the second term now in that the first chapter is chapter number 6 that is ubuntu or basic ubuntu linux command now what is this uh, ubuntu linux or what is ubuntu linux commands so we all use windows at our house as an operating system in mobile generally we use android as an operating system right but as uh, you were taught in standard 9th and 10th your textbook of standard 9 10th 11 12th is designed using a different operating system and that operating system is ubuntu linux now there are various branches of ubuntu also and linux also but here the thing the operating system which is there in our course is known as ubuntu linux now one thing we all know is computer stores everything in the form of zeros and one okay whether it is a text file powerpoint presentation video song image whatever everything is stored in the form of binary language zero and one now we cannot understand that language you just try to imagine just now you are reading here introduction and background is blue and then white color box inside that something is typed in black and right you can understand this thing right so there should be something who will convert all the binary form zeros and one into the thing which you can see just now right and allow the user to interact with the computer we also can't type everything in zeros and ones will get mad we also can not do that thing so we are able to interact with the computer using two methods or two ways first is graphical user interface that is the thing which we are using just now there are graphics you can see different colors are there you got uh, you can use the mouse you can use the keyboard you can tap something right this is graphical user interface another thing is command line interface now years ago when computer was invented newly at that time even mouse was not invented at that time uh, to interact with the computer there was only one medium and that was command line interface to do any sort of work in the computer you need to type those commands to do the work and learning a computer was really a headache in those days because you have to memorize so many commands a thick book of say 500 pages was coming in which uh, different commands were explained so that is a olden method but uh, your textbook author is great chapter number 6 7 8 is designed using command line interface the command line interface allows us to access the real power of linux with a greater efficiency according to the textbook okay we are more comfortable with uh, graphical user interface but uh, since uh, it is there in the course they may have taken this thing topic uh, due to some reason especially uh, the hackers okay they use uh, this command line interface suppose if you want to open a server you want to open a file in lying in that server and hack that thing you cannot do it with a uh, graphical user interface so most of the hackers prefer to use command line interface another thing who uses command line interface the programmers who has to develop different programs also Uh, may sometimes use command line interface the programs which are to be kept on internet platform now in ubuntu linux the how to start the start up the terminal okay 
in windows you know you can click on start menu then you can click on run r u n run so you will get a small box in which you type cmd short form of command cmd then a command line interface will open black window in which you can type the commands same way if you are using ubuntu operating system how to type the commands so that is explained here i will also practically do the thing and explain you to open command line console in graphical interface a window named terminal is provided in linux now see one thing there are two options either uh, you straight away open your operating system using uh, command line interface or if you open the command line interf- uh, if you open the started the operating system in graphical user interface then then to if you want to work in command line interface then you get a window name terminal remember this word it will not it will come so many times so you have to remember that word terminal window which is provided in linux to open a terminal window there are two ways first is you have to click on applications then accessories and from accessories you will get terminal another way is shortcut key control press and hold the control and alter key and press the t key then also terminal window will open you can have a look at terminal window which is given in your textbook uh, figure 6.1 how it looks if you don't want to see in the textbook you wait just now practically i will show you when i start open to operating system now once the terminal window is visible you will see a blinking cursor preceded by some letters and perhaps numbers and symbols ending with a dollar sign Okay now what I am thinking is you pause the video here and open your textbook page number 99 and just have a look at figure 6.1 then you only will be able to understand what I am teaching please pause the video over here open your textbook page number 99 look in figure 6.1 terminal window okay fine now I will explain you that uh, once the terminal window is open you can see a black color terminal window is open you will see a blinking cursor at the end preceded by some letters and uh, perhaps numbers and symbols ending with dollar sign the first word in the string of the character is the username just read over there the first word is administrator in your textbook the first word which is given is administrator so that is the username through which user you have logged in guest student admin administrator what that will be displayed then it will be followed by a at sign or at the rate sign you can see in your textbook then followed by the name of the computer that is being used now when you in, uh, install the operating system you have to give a name to the computer so then it will be displaying the name of the computer then will come finally you will find a colon and the name of the directory you are working in generally you start working in home directory which is represented by uh, this sign i don't know the name of this symbol so home directory is indicated by this sign example administrator see this example i have taken from the textbook administrator at the rate ubuntu colon then that sign and then dollar now see this dollar is very important okay that is known as command prompt if this dollar is not there then you will not be able to type any command the command prompt indicate indicated uh indicates that the interface is ready to interact with the user in the form of commands okay if this whole statement is there, there followed by the dollar sign then you have to understand that now i can start typing the commands a command is basically a program that accomplishes certain task for example i click here then in command line interface i have to type a command that 
this is been this icon has been clicked icons are not there actually but i want to open this file and i have to type a command like that way once the prompt is displayed we can issue commands as described in this chapter now we come to the second word shell before discussing various commands let us revise the knowledge about the term shell what is a shell you were already explained in uh, standard 9 but obviously you may have forgotten so much time has passed two years have passed so what is a shell a shell is the command line interface okay actually this meaning which is given in the textbook is wrong there are two types of shell command line interface and graphical user interface shell means nothing but interface remember this thing shell is we can say it is a synonym of interface shell is a program is a user program or an environment provided for user to interact with the computer in the windows we get the start menu and then icons and desktop background and right so that environment which is provided to interact with the computer is known as a shell it is a command language interpreter now the, the textbook is talking about the command line interface shell huh? remember it is a command language interpreter that accepts or issues commands understands it interacts with the kernel to execute it and display the results as per the given instructions so what does this shell interpreter uh, do whatever command you issue it will first uh, accept those commands whichever you type then it try to understand what you have typed then it then sends that command to the kernel to execute it suppose if you have given a command to open a file then it will send the message to the kernel that open the file and it displays the result that is if the file will open it will be displayed on the monitor simple now in ubuntu numerous cells are available to work on the ubuntu linux system but the cells available on a particular system may vary now see before i continue teaching one thing i would like to say is all those who are finding this chapter boring may stop the video okay because uh, this chapter is the base suppose if you go to engineering or whichever field this commands and everything you will have to learn that time it, you will find it new if you watch the video and try to understand from the basic point of view then it will be easy for you so it depends if you want to study you can study otherwise you stop the video and chapter number 6 7 and 8 all are connected with each other If you don't understand chapter number six, then you will not understand anything in chapter seven and eight. Fine, I proceed further. Now see, I am I can talk to you in English, Gujarati, Hindi, right? So I go. I know three languages to interact with human being. Okay. Now same way, in shells also there are so many shells. Okay, in which you can type the commands. There may be minor changes. So some of the popular shells provided with Linux are now see in uh, Windows we don't have so many shells. There is only one command line interface and standard commands are there. But in Ubuntu there are so many different uh, we can say languages to interact with the computer. First one is bound shell. Uh, it is indicated by SH. remember this thing could be asked in the mcq c shell indicated by c s h and t c h s on shell indicated by k s h and bash shell indicated by s n oblique h fine now one by one we try to understand the shell and after that i will start the ubuntu uh, thing operating system and explain you something more now bound shell with sh 
as its antonym is the earliest unix shell used as command line interface now see this has to nothing to do with uh, means it had not started from unix uh, it had not started from uh, linux which we are using ubuntu linux but before that an operating system was there that is unix from that time this shell is there in use this shell provides the mechanism for shell script programming you can type the program here or you can type the commands here next is c shell c shell with csh as its acronym is another shell commonly found on linux systems now what is the ac- meaning of acronym acronym means in gujarati we say ulamno naam in english we say pet name so c shell is also known as csh shell programming can be done using c language in this shell now see this shell to work with this shell is little bit easy since uh, all those who have learned c language in uh, standard 10 they will find this thing easy now the newer version of csh is tchs which provides additional shell script programming features to address the limitations of chs then comes on shell on shell or ksh was developed to combine the features of both sh and csh then comes bash shell uh, which we are going to learn in this chapter bash shell is a newer version of bound shell thus it contains same syntax and functions as sh okay. in our textbook or in ubuntu system when you install ubuntu operating system by default the shell which will be provided will be bash shell this is a newer version of bound shell then nowadays bash shell is considered standard shell for linux systems and is commonly used and available on all linux operating system now practically i will just check how much is the length of the video if the video length is about 15 minutes then in part 2 i will start ubuntu operating system and I, the time limit is not over then in the same video i will be explain you how to type commands in ubuntu linux 